if you guys know my story, but I've shared it here before where around 29 and 30, I'd been building my business for three and a half years. I'd been doing it with a full-time job while going back to school to do prereqs for my passion, Chinese medicine, and I had another part-time job working for an acupuncturist, the front desk, 7 a.m. And it was the culmination of these years and years and years and years of overdoing it, even though I was eating right and working out and never missing those things. It was the stress of constantly having to go and feeling like I didn't have enough time that eventually got me sick around the age of 30. And I just saw this explosion of symptoms regarding stress that I'd never had before, not even once in my entire life. So even though I freaked out and even though now almost two years later, I'm almost back to normal, I want to share the biggest lesson I learned from this experience and why I think it'll help you as a November challenge. What's up guys, Alex Hein here, author of the book, Master the Day. Now look, I've also included that free goal setting worksheet. It's right there in the description box there below. When you click that, it's gonna let you download this template that I use to set up and have really my best year, year after year, and progressively get better. So click that first link in the description, download it, and maybe this video will give you some ideas on what to actually put there. So think about this, all right? Put yourself in my shoes. What happens when every day internally you're thinking, I don't have enough time to do what I want? Eventually, you start rushing, right? You start eating faster. You rush in the morning. You cut corners. You literally don't have time to do the quality job you need for your job, for your health, for your sleep, for your relationships. And so that's exactly what ended up happening to me. And I was always rushing, even though you couldn't always see that I was physically rushing. In my head, I was basically screaming, I don't have enough time to do everything. And that is the belief that then affected my life and eventually made me sick. So I wanna introduce you to November's challenge, which is super simple. The habit is no internal rushing and then surrender. And there are some nuances here, but that's the gist of it, super simple. No internal rushing, and then surrender if you still feel like you have to rush. So let's break this down a little bit and make it more tactical. So the very first thing here is when I say internal rushing, because you may not be running around or you may realistically be if you are internally rushing, but it's the feeling of I have so much to do and not enough time. And it's the belief more than anything that will eventually affect your actions, right? Because if I believe I don't have enough time, I will physically start to rush. So let's say you realistically have a ton on your plate. You're working a job, you're going back to school, you have a relationship, you're trying to take care of your health, you have family commitments, you have all this stuff you wanna do that's your own commitments and the commitments to others. So what do you actually do if you have objectively a lot on your plate? The first thing is remove things until you don't feel like you're rushing anymore. So what happened with me was I realized that, hey, waking up, doing an hour long morning routine, going to school, my classes, and seeing patients nine to five, going to the gym five to seven, and then working for four hours a day on my business until 11, that was not physically possible for a human to do in the long run. So I had to figure out, what am I gonna cut away? The very first thing, remove until it removes the feeling of rushing. What do I have to parse away? And for me, that was really difficult because I realized, okay, then maybe what I have to do is, I'm not gonna see friends during the week at all, before Friday. That'll save me an hour a day. I'm actually gonna do my workouts four days a week instead of five or six days a week. I'm actually going to reduce the hours of my business from four to two and a half. That removes an hour and a half a day. And so the very first thing is if you are rushing and you know you're, it's impacting your quality of life and your quality of your work and your relationships, don't try to change any belief don't try to convince yourself of anything. Remove your schedule, chop it up. Remove things until it objectively feels like I have margin in my day now. Now the second thing here is that little PS, the asterisk, is surrendering. So this is something I'm working on a lot because I really suck at it, but it's just this idea that I'm going to surrender to the fact that I have, maybe I've parsed away those things in my schedule and I still don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to be the successful person I want while having a family. That's realistic. Okay, 
I surrender. Boom. I don't have enough time to maybe go to the gym six days a week and become like an Olympian or like some IFBB model while doing my doctorate and running a business. Okay, I surrender. Let that, let that energy go. Let the frustration go. I may not have the time right now to be the best boyfriend, to be the best business owner, and be the best student that I want. Okay, I surrender that the results are not going to be as good as I hoped they could be. I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm just going to surrender it. I'm just going to let it go. And so what happens is when you move out of this place of constantly rushing, constantly pushing, the first thing is that you just feel a lot better on a daily basis. You don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to be in a rush. You're just, this is what I have to do. If I can't get it all done, I'm surrendering. I'm going to purge as much from my schedule as possible to feel good. But ultimately, what I'm going to do is just release the reins and let things go a little bit more smoothly. So try that out. Let me know how it works for you. I've included that free goal setting worksheet right in the description box. It's the very first link. So click that, check it out. You can get my last two videos right here and right there.